Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a Cole Banker, Dan Harp Realtors. Well, today I'm at Bell Oaks because I have some clients considering having David Weekly build a build on your own lot home on this lot. So, of course, I'm going to do a lot tour for them. So, uh, let's go check it out. All right, the good things about this lot, it is a very flat lot with lots of oak trees on them. Some of them are kind of small little baby oak trees, but some of them are decent size. Uh, the one negative that's on this lot is this street is a uh, the main street coming in. You got the front of Bell Oaks right there, so you are going to have some traffic coming up front. But that's the only negative I found about this lot because it is a beautiful flat lot and it is quiet, no road noise whatsoever. All right, let's go check out the uh, rest of this lot. You do have homes already on both sides of this property. That's kind of a good thing because now you have no surprises of where are they going to build this home at. We have measured. The sales rep, uh, Lynn, has been very helpful. She came out and measured where they already kind of plotted this house to be at. And I'm kind of standing right at the front of the foundation. So if you're doing some front porch sitting, this could be your view. Or if your front porch is kind of over on the side, this will be the view for sitting out and drink some coffee in the morning. Now the sun sets over in this direction here. I'm pretty sure that's west. It's uh, 5.30 now and the sun is, is coming down over on this side. So that's where the sun's setting. So that's good, so that does give you some protection in the backyard so, but let's go ahead and keep walking the lot some of these trees here aren't going to make it because the footprint of the house is going to take over this space where i'm walking right now but there's a view of what you might be looking out the back window or the side window of the house and the other side window This is gonna be really nice, especially I know uh, my clients are considering putting a pool in. If they had a pool put in here, this area might be about their deck. Where I'm standing right now might be a good spot for where this pool is gonna be. And this would be surrounding your pool. Kind of ballparking it here. So you, this would be a nice space. So you would have a nice little tree set up. And if they're talking about doing the a cabana uh, or casita coming out, the casita might actually be right in this space right here. So if the casita is in this space, that gives you even more privacy from this house. So that's really great. So now you don't have to worry about them seeing you in your pool. So let's go ahead and continue walk back towards the back of the property. Like he said, some nice little small oak trees. And back here is a perfect spot if you wanted to have playground set up or just do some adventuring th stuff. I can't overstress how awesome it is to have a wonderful, a nice fire pit. Just so if you've got some drinking buddies over, there's some good spots back here to have your fire pit set up. All right, I'm gonna go back all the way to the back of the property line because this cluster of oak trees and one cedar tree right there, this could be just a good boundary marker where your property's at. All right, we see this is the back edge of the property line. Those trees are beyond it. And there's those other tray, uh, breaks of it. <clears throat> and what's behind your property, 
not much there might be a green space gap but i can see some clearings off in the distance but this is the other edge of your property line going up i'm pretty sure that's the edge yeah i think i see a few more sticks up there so yeah it's a good size one acre lot with some nice uh flat space and very quiet very very quiet up here no road noise whatsoever and uh not a bad spot all right that's gonna wrap up tour of this lot that is currently owned by david weekly and they've already got a house specced out to be built on it that my clients are considering buying it but uh yeah it's a beautiful lot and a great subdivision and i hope you found this video helpful and uh if you did make sure you like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye. We're going to do a little bonus feature for anybody who's looking to, well, there's not much lots left in Bell Oaks, but I am getting ready to list a lot. But if you're building in Bell Oaks or somewhere in the Bulverde area, this is the elementary school that your kiddos go to. It is a beautiful school, but it's also kind of out in the country. So uh, if you're coming out of the Bell Oaks uh, community, you'll take a left and there's a small spur off road. Uh, take another left on that and you just keep coming down. It's probably a good, uh, I don't know, eight, eight to 10 minutes down the road from Bell Oaks. But it is a beautiful school out in the country. So not the normal urban sprawl schools that you'll typically see <clears throat> this uh the road that's right in front of the school that's going to be Bulverde road it does go all the way up to 46 to our north right there so yeah if you're coming on 46 take Bulverde road and you can come down and hit it all right well this is the elementary school it is a big beautiful school but it's kind of out in the country and i like that all right the name is rar good god can they make it rougher for me anyways come isd beautiful schools this is the elementary all right if you found this helpful make sure you like and subscribe take care